So usually your tablet should work fine now. However, what can happen in some rare use cases is that you try to move your pen and the cursor is not moving and the security settings window from the Wacom driver is still on your screen. So it says security setting prevented Wacom system software from loading. Um, and here is the tricky part. Here we can click on try again. However, we thought everything went well during the last installation, but apparently it did not because our pen is doing nothing. No worries, we can fix that in, with a couple of clicks. So to do this, let me move that window aside as well. Um, let's open the system preferences on your Macintosh system. Again, go and click on security and privacy. And if we click on accessibility first, we can see, okay, here is our Wacom IO manager, the one we have um, seen in the main installation uh, video. It is checked, so everything seems to be all right. However, um, let's check another topic. If you scroll down in the window on the left, below the accessibility is input monitoring. And in input monitoring, there usually should be the Wacom tablet driver, also equipped with a checkbox. But as you could see in this video, it is not in here. So this is possibly the first reason why the tablet doesn't work as expected. But we can fix this one. So first of all, let's click on the lock to make the changes. Again, enter my credentials. And what we have to do now is we have to manually add the Wacom tablet driver service to this specific window. And this can be done by clicking on the plus icon. And then you will see that the finder window goes up. Now click on the left, click on applications and go to the Wacom tablet folder on here. And now it's very important. This is not part of the main entry. So in this Wacom tablet folder, you see Wacom Desktop Center, Wacom Display Setting, and Wacom Tablet Utility. However, there is a hidden subfolder where you can find the specific um, Wacom tablet driver entry. And to make this hidden tablet folder visible, you have to click on your Macintosh keyboard, Command, Shift, and Dot as you can see here, and all of a sudden you will see a subfolder, it's called dot .tablet, and if I double click on that one, or click on that one, depending, here I can see the Wacom tablet driver icon. If you, for example, have an, a tablet which comes with multi-touch functionality like our Cintiq Pro models or the Intuos Pro, you for this, the Wacom touch driver might be relevant, but for the Intuos tablet and the pen only, we choose Wacom tablet driver. And I'm running here my Wacom Intuos tablet. To make this tablet work, it's sufficient to mark the Wacom tablet driver and click open down here. What you see now is another security message coming from the macOS saying Wacom tablet driver will not be able to monitor input from your keyboard until it is quit. That's okay. That's pretty straightforward. Let's uh, confirm this with later and check and make sure that the Wacom tablet driver is now in the input monitoring window and it's enabled by the checkbox. If you have done this one, we can click on the lock to make these changes, close that window and restart your Mac. So I've just restarted my Mac and what you could see here now, directly after the restart, again, the operating system window pops up and is asking um, the Wacom I.O. manager element to take control of your Wacom pen. And again, don't click on deny here. Please go to open system preferences. And in security and privacy, you will see you are directly in the accessibility tab we have, we have seen previously. And now we can see that the Wacom I.O. manager is part of this list. However, we also see that the checkbox is not active. So we have to do this as a final step. First of all, click again on the lock, enter credentials, and then just tick the checkbox and enable the com.wacom IO manager. Click on the lock again, close that window, and we are finally done. So basically, 
to make sure that it really works as expected, have a last final restart and then your Wacom tablet driver and the Wacom tablet should work as expected. Thanks for watching.